Husband is going skiing with two single women and claims it's not a problem. The situation. Last night, IF-36 was caught off guard by my husband, M-35, saying he was going skiing snowboarding with a female co-worker from a previous company and an unknown female friend today. He doesn't know the other friend either. He told me about the plan before and was trying to get one or two of his guy friends to go. He reached out to this female friend and she agreed to go and recruited her friend. I was there when we were all talking about going up as much as possible and together this year, so I didn't think twice when he mentioned texting her the other day when the guy's plan fell through. This all was arranged within the last few days after his other friends couldn't go. In the moment when he told me who he was going with, I got that feeling in the pit of my stomach. Partially jealously that he would make plans with other women and partially paranoia BC, I have no clue who this third person is. I told him right then I was really uncomfortable with the plan. I also added that it looks bad to be a married man and to put yourself alone with single women for a whole day. To me, it's playing with fire no matter how much I trust him. When the moment is ripe, people are opportunists and why even let others think something could have happened. To me, it's about having clear boundaries and respect for my feelings too. He left this morning and he'll probably read this at some point. As far as I know, he went with his friend and this other woman, even though he could have decided to go alone or to another slope. Did I overreact? I feel like the majority of women would have said, no, I won't let you go, but I let him honor his plans, BC. I know he hates being or seeming flaky. I'm not trying to be controlling or make him change his mind, but I can't be alone in thinking this is wildly inappropriate for a married man to make plans with single women. I already feel like this is going to bother me all day. At 8.43 a.m. local time update. It took me a minute, but I'm not mad or jealous. This was more about my feelings being hurt because he asked four other people, literally one he didn't know, to go with him before me, even though I couldn't go today anyway. I wish he was more considerate as he made this plan. I really appreciate everyone's perspective. I knew it would be divided. There are too many comments for me to reply. I'm pretty busy at work today. Live update, he text. Made it. Update three, I'm going into a work holiday lunch, so we're both enjoying ourselves today. I'll see how the day went later on. He has texted me and said something about it's time to chill, referring to work being busy. To be con, update four. We had a heated discussion on the phone before my PT shift, and we both had the day to think about it from the other's perspective. Now we're cooled off and have talked it through. All is well that ends well. He also posted his side too. I apologized for letting my past and insecurities get the best of me. He's never done anything to break my trust. Husband's take, husband is going skiing with two single women and claims it's not a problem. I'm OP's husband. I tried to include a link to the really wish I didn't feel like I needed to defend myself, but I don't fully agree with the information that was shared about the situation. Weeks ago, a male friend, Pete, asked me to go snowboarding on this specific day. He works weekends and I have plenty of PTO, so it worked for both of us. I didn't pick the date and I definitely didn't pick it because my wife was unavailable, but I do enjoy going during the weekdays because there are a lot less people on the road and on the mountain. Unfortunately, Pete backed out last week. My PTO was already approved and I didn't have any meetings, so I decided to text a few other friends to see who could go. Only one person replied Kate. Kate is a former coworker and a friend. We are strictly platonic friends and have been since before my wife and I even started dating years ago. We rarely hang out, but we've remained cool with each other despite no longer working in the same building. I communicated my struggle to find someone to go with after Pete backed out, and I have been communicating for weeks how lonely it's been to go alone, which I've done most of this season and most of last season. As soon as Kate said she could go, I communicated to my wife that Kate was the only one to reply, so we were going together. No further conversation. This season, I made sure we all had ski passes so we can go together. My wife hasn't rented skis yet, despite me reminding her about it more than she would like. She also wouldn't take the time off work, which I've always respected. I have brought up the idea of weekday skiing in the past, and I've talked at length about how excited I am to go together this year. So no, I didn't ask her to join me for the above reasons. Fast forward to yesterday. Kate and I were working out the commuting details, and she mentioned her friend Janet wanted to join. No big deal to me. Then later in the evening, I provided the details to my wife. You can read her perspective in the link above. Clearly, she didn't like the idea while I didn't and still don't think it's a big deal. We were three people, regardless of gender, who wanted to go skiing, snowboarding on the same day. Also, not that it should matter, Janet is married. So we argued. 
I'm feeling hurt that my wife doesn't trust me based on her own past relationship history and the relationship history of her parents. Whereas I don't have any trust or jealousy issues. I tried breaking down the situation to better understand with which part she took offense. The biggest part of the issue was that we would all be in the car together and that would lead to conversation and bonding between us. So the issue from my perspective was that people of different genders would be making small talk during a two hour drive. From her perspective, members of the opposite sex would be getting to know me more intimately through conversation. I said you've been in a car with single male friends. My wife, further upset by this, asked for examples. I don't have any and said as much without continuing to argue that point much further. I do feel like it has happened, but who has the space to remember arbitrary things like that? Bottom line is this shouldn't be a problem. We're three people who enjoy the same hobby and riding in a single car is the best and easiest way to commute for this hobby but I understand my wife's perspective even if I don't agree with it. While this was not a day that she would have considered going, aside from the fact she hasn't even rented skis, there are a ton of opportunities in our future to ski together plus concerts, travel, etc. Hopefully I can do a better job of planning small things for us to do on a more regular basis so she feels included and hopefully my wife can recognize that while occasionally I make plans for myself, it's a lot more rare than she realizes. Some of you were too quick to judge and too harsh with your words. Off to enjoy a hot shower and forget about how embarrassed I am that my life is on display. Update. My wife and I continued the conversation and I have a better understand of how I can be more comforting and reassuring in the future. Some of you gave thoughtful and constructive feedback. While others were just here to tear one of us down, I've read a lot of your comments and post history. Most people only spend time on Reddit telling others they're the ash, they should get divorced, etc. Take a break from giving poor relationship advice based a snippet of information. Also, a lot of people have really poor reading comprehension. 